we have a 3D image of, I believe, I want to say that's the femur. Is, am I correct, doctor? Yes. Okay. Tell us what we're seeing there and why it occurs during menopause. Uh, the bone is less dense. It's porous. That, that means there are these little holes in the bone. Use this mouse right here. As opposed to if a, you uh, a dense bone. Mm -hmm. And uh, this can, over time, it can get worse and increase or even now the risk of fracture of the hip. So osteoporosis is a, a problem that postmenopausal women uh, can have. And as we'll talk about it, it can be uh, prevented. Okay, and I know um, when it comes to menopause, uh, some things can be done about it, and that would be hormone replacement therapy. That can help, correct? Yes. This was introduced, and I was reading here back in 1942, quite a, quite a while back. Um, why has it become so controversial? Because you hear a lot of women saying, oh, I'm not sure about it. For the first uh, 40 years or so after 1942, it, it wasn't really controversial. And uh, it had advantages in preventing things. They felt that it prevented uh, heart, heart disease in women. And uh, that was uh, according to what we thought, because women hardly ever have a heart attack uh, when they're in the menstrual phase of life. Uh, men do more so. Uh, and even then, it's not common. But after the menopause, women can catch up with men uh, because their estrogen levels go low. So it wasn't surprising that for years, uh, the evidence suggested that women uh, had uh, a protection uh, from the estrogen uh, if they replaced it or took it.